Greetings all of you out there in Xavier Land. Mike Graham here. Well, believe it or not, we've just wrapped up our first full week of classes here at Xavier since the return of all of our students, of all of you, because I'm speaking to you in a special way, Xavier students. For you first-year students, we hope you've had a really positive start to your Xavier experience. And for our returning students, man, it is so awesome to see you. Welcome back, and welcome home, and here's to your continued success. Speaking of continued success, I need to be kind of candid here, a little bit blunt. We made it through one week, but there's still week two, week three, week four, week five, many, many more weeks to come. And so the commitment that you've exhibited, and I've seen you do it over the course of this week, needs to continue in the days to come and come from each and every member of this Xavier community. We have to continue wearing those masks when indoors and even outdoors when we cannot maintain appropriate distance continue to sanitize, wash our hands, and overall, we need to make smart choices. Speaking of smart choices, some of those smart choices need to begin in a very special way today as we come to our first weekend of our, after our first week of classes together. Please, please, please be safe and be smart and know that the choices you make this weekend are going to impact us all. I'm gonna say it simply, don't have parties, just don't. 10 or fewer of your good friends gathered together outside wearing masks, keeping a distance, yeah, that's gonna work. But those of you in off-campus houses or in any of our Xavier-owned housing as well, if you're considering inviting all 30 or 40 of your best friends over, have a little casual evening around the keg on Friday or Saturday night, don't do it. Just don't do it. And if you're considering going to a large gathering, same advice. Don't do it. Don't go. It's easy enough for you to say, well, you know, it's just one night or I worked hard this week or I'm in college and this is what I'm owed or something like that. But these experiences have caused significant issues at other campuses as well. And those campuses have often enough needed to go completely remote as a result of it, sending all their students, all of you, home to mom and dad and their watchful eyes and sharing your room again with your brother or your sister or whatever. So, for those caught violating our commitments, believe me, our student conduct process is going to follow because it must. And our student conduct response will be strong, again, because it must be. Those who choose to put our entire community at risk, well, they may not be welcome to remain a member of this community. That's the tough route, the stick. There's a carrot, I think. Here's how I'd prefer to look at it. You can look out for one another. You can do that. You can adhere to our community commitments, to that all-for-one spirit. You can do that because it allows us to be with each other in our classes, in the residence halls, and throughout our campus. You can do this. You've got this. The choices that we make now will have the potential to impact the final year for all our seniors. What kind of a gift do you want to give them, those seniors? What kind of gift do you want to give our new students? Really welcome them here so that they have a terrific, terrific first year and don't have to go home because of something you did. And of course, all of our faculty and staff as well. Our Xavier community has taken great steps during the course of this summer to prepare our campus to be as healthy, to be as safe as possible. And now, friends, it's up to you. Musketeers, do what you need to do to be responsible citizens for our community, for our campus, and for one another. We are. Xavier Nation, we are in this together. God bless.